When the market is crashing, it's really tough on investors and traders, but for algorithmic traders, it's really not a big deal because you can make money in an up market and in a down market. And in the last video I posted on the channel, I showed you how to make money by going long in a crashing market using the mean reverting characteristics of the S&P 500 index. And I got so many emails asking how to make money shorting the S&P 500 index. So in this video, I will show you a simple strategy with the code on how to make money by shorting the S&P 500 index. Before I show you the strategy on how to short the index, I need to tell you that every instrument have a different behavior going long and going short. So I am not in the camp of a strategy should be symmetrical in long and short logic because really the index when it goes long it goes slowly and with a small peaks pull back small peaks pull back but when it goes down it goes down violently fast and then it pulls back so the rules for going long shouldn't be the same as the rules for going short so first of all this is the chart for the s p 500 index and this is the RSI 2 in orange and the yellow line is the the 200 day simple moving up and if I zoom out you can see how we go long uh, grinding up but when we go short we go fast and violent and this is the example of the COVID crisis and you can see how fast that was it took only 22 bars to lose 36 uh, percent and then look at this, it took 129 bars to break even. And this applies to almost all crises. And you can see here, this is the subprime crisis and it took 361 bars to go down about 58%, but then it took 1,414 bars to break even. Okay, so what is this awesome strategy that you are going to make money shorting the S&P 500 index? Well, as I told you, you've seen it many times on the channel, it's the RSI2 strategy. We are only going to flip the RSI2 strategy. So this is the code for the strategy and let's forget the inputs and the variables. So let's focus on these. The entry is when the RSI2 greater than a level, which is 75, and the exit when the RSI2 lower than a level, which is 25. And we have the regime filter, which is when the close lower than the 200 day moving average. This is exactly the opposite of the long strategy. And then this is the entry. If the C regime, which is this one, is true, that means the close below 200 day moving average, and the C entry is true, that's the other variable, then we sell short. And if the C exit is true, then we exit. That's it, very simple, very easy. If I compile this strategy, you can see we have 103 trades making $469 on average. 103 trades, this is since the year 2000. So the past 22 years, we had over a little bit over 100 trades. And we can see the strategy is behaving as we want. So 2001, 2002, that's the dot-com bubble and we have many trades then we don't have a lot of trades then 2008 2009 we have many trades that's the sub uh, prime uh, crash that's good and then in 2020 as i told you the uh, the covid 19 did not last long so we didn't make enough trades and so far this year we made four trades so the strategy so far already behaving well and we are making money on total but of course, we can make it better. First of all, the, the drawdown is big compared to the returns. So we need to take care of that. So uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to increase the number of trades. So we can do this by, first of all, we can lower the regime. So if I switch this to a hundred, so then we should make more trades. So we made 15%, let's say around 12% more trades. So that's already good. And we're still keeping, in fact, we're making better return now. 545 average trade. So that's good. And then I can increase the levels. So the threshold is low, so we can make more trades. 
so we will make the levels at 65 to short and to exit at 35 so we should see more uh, trades now and we did so this is very good already so instead of 103 we have 63 more trades that's almost 60 percent more trades this is excellent and we're still making around the same uh, average trade so that's really good and we increase the number of trades so overall it's good let's see the behavior over the years so again 2001 and 2 that's we're making more trades here 2008 and 9 most trades and so far this year we also increased the number of trades. so this is really a good start the same strategy uh, we just flip it that's how robust rsi2 is and i keep telling you this uh, maybe now in a hundred videos how robust rsi2 is and we just flip the rules and i the change the threshold just to allow more trades to get in because like i told you shorting is happen really fast and we don't have enough time to catch many trades so this is good and also the behavior really matches what we expect because we want to make money in a crashing market and the behavior matches that exactly so now it's just we need to play it's like the icing on the cake we already have the cake now we just need to play to reduce the drawdown and maybe increase our average trade uh, by introducing some filters. So now I added the period for the uh, regime filter and I'm just gonna optimize these values just to show you how robust the strategy is. So we will optimize the entry level 55 to 95, exit level 15 to 45, and the regime filter from 75 to 200. So we have 378 combinations and this is now sorted by the net profit and let's look at the top 20 so this is the 20 and we can see all the values 65 75 65 70 so they are all ranging between 65 and 75 and the exit same thing between 25 and 40 so you can see all values are producing really good profits and then look at the market regime 100 150 100 150 75 200 again all of them are producing profit so there is no actually you cannot say this is the peak of course we can see that this is the peak 65 and 30 and 100 uh, but i'm just gonna keep it still at 65 and 35 in fact actually this is better yes less money but look at the drawdown it's already a better and even this is even a better drawdown so this is 20,000 drawdown so 75 and 30 and 100 enjoying the content so far that's great make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that i post on this channel also it would be amazing if you can share the video with others so they can get the same value that you are getting this one we can see that the average bars in trade is nine and average bars in winners is four so instead of introducing a stop loss let's introduce a number of bars to exit okay so now i introduced the bar since entry so we will exit if we hit this number of bars this is more robust than a stop loss and now we are exiting with either the rsi2 or the number of bars whichever happened first so we can start from one to let's say 15 step of one and we will not optimize the 65 and 35 so we have 15 combinations so again, all of them are profitable, which is really, really good. That shows the robustness of this strategy and how this is much better than a stop loss. And now let's sort by the maximum drawdown. So we can see three, four, six, and five. They are all in the top six strategies in terms of drawdown. So three bars, that means I only stay three bars in the trade. And of course, we're exiting on the fourth day and i make more money and less drawdown so this you might think that it is a peak but really again this matches our thesis because shorting happens really fast so you should enter and exit really fast to capture this move and so really exiting fast it's within this uh, thesis that we put through so i'm going to pick uh, three bars of course but four five six and seven all 
with lower drawdown and making profit. So the strategy is so robust that it doesn't matter what you change. It's still doing very, very well. So let's see how that affected the number of trades. Remember, we had 66, but now we're because we're exiting earlier, we increased our number of trades. We lowered the average, but we also lowered the drawdown. So overall, I think this is the best filter that we can do. Instead of adding a filter, we will consider the number of bars exit as our filter because now we increase the number of trades, we lower the drawdown, and we uh, we make more money. So we achieved everything actually. So finally, this is our strategy making $83,000 with $18,000 uh, maximum drawdown. And we can see the curve. So this is the curve. And let's see the annual period. So again, we're still uh, 2001 and two, lots of trade making good money. 2008, making even more money, good trades. And uh, again, 2020, we didn't catch enough in the COVID crisis. And so far, we made the most amount of money this year with nine trades already. So we can see that when we are grinding up, we don't make money. And when the short side happens really fast, we make lots of trades. Short side happened really fast, we make lots of trades. And this is the subprime crisis. Again, we can see we are making lots of trades in this short cycle. Of course, if you have any questions, any comments, please do so below the video. And I'll be more than happy to answer you. I do read and answer all questions sent to the channel. And if you want to take this further, be a part of my inner circle, learn more. You are more than welcome to join the Discord server through the link down below. As always, good luck with your investment. Good luck with your trading. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.